That's the best sound ever. New bike day never gets any less exciting and I'm sure that you will all agree with me in saying that you can never have too many bikes and that is why I'm so stoked to unbox and reveal what is inside here. I could stand here talking for a moment, but I'm so excited, I wanna just get straight into it and see what's inside the box. This bike is looking absolutely insane. We're about to head straight to Ison Distribution and upgrade this instantly with Halo wheels and a load of gusset components. So let's spin to another workshop. We've made our way to Ison Distribution and right here, the guys have very kindly picked out a load of components. We've got loads of gusset stuff from the S2 range, some new halo wheels, some fancy decals from both halo and gusset to go on and upgrade the enduro beast. First thing we're gonna do, get the front wheel out, get the bars and stem off, ready to fit some freshies. Right, bars, stem and grips are all fitted and that does look so sick, doesn't it? Let's just look at what sizes we've gone for. So 33 millimeter stem, I'm not the tallest person, I don't have very long arms either, so a nice short stem fits me perfectly and I just like the reactive sort of feeling it gives, even though this bike is aimed more at downhill and stability, which is why I've decided to run the 20 mil rise bars, but they come 800 mil wide, which I've never actually run before. I normally cut them down to 760. If you saw my video the other day, I was running 200 mil bars, which was ridiculous, but 800 on this, I'm gonna try it. I just wanna see how stable it is and how much control it offers. And then grips wise, as always, the S2, S2 oil slick collars, soft compound, they feel amazing. And it's so important to have grips that are comfy because your actually only connection to the bike is your hands and your feet, which is a perfect smooth transition into pedals, which we're about to fit right now. So the S2 pedals, I run these on all of my bikes and they're absolutely perfect because big spikes, which the time of year coming up, not wearing, not running clip pedals, keeps your feet in place, which is perfect. And whilst we was there, I also fitted the seat, which this is a brand new FR saddle. So it's the same as the Dirt Jump Pivotal saddle, but it's not pivotal, it fits on the rail, which is really good. I like the feel of that seat. I know I'm not really gonna be doing it on this bike, but clamping for bar spins or suicide no-handers, there's so much clamp there, and it's a bit thicker, probably providing a bit more comfort. So that's only just come out, and I'm curious to give that a try. Super drive hub, it's sounding sick. Let's get this stickered up, get all the hardware on it, get it fitted, because it's always so exciting. That is gonna look sick when that's in the bike. I'd go as far to say that's one of the best looking bikes that I've ever actually had. I'm in love with the orange on the bike. It looks so, so sick. It's obviously about what it, how it rides and what I'm gonna be using it for. And my intentions with this bike are to have like a heavier style enduro bike. Quite a lot of people these days are doing slope duro bikes, which are super good fun, but I don't want a replacement for my downhill bike, but I want something that is offers the same qualities as a downhill bike as in terms of suspension and grip and absorbing big heavy bumps but i want the agileness and maneuverability of a enduro bike so hopefully this bike with 170 mil travel up front 160 in the rear is going to offer that and most importantly compared to the downhill bike this one will, you can actually pedal the downhill bike seven speed five or seven speed i can't remember and the gearing is terrible if you have to pedal anywhere it's an absolute nightmare whereas hope well this is an enduro bike, it's designed for riding distance as well. This video has been quite fast moving so far. We've unboxed the bike, we've instantly taken a load of parts off, upgraded a load of things, but we actually haven't really had much of a chance to look at what the actual bike is itself. So I think we should get it out of the stand and then take a closer look because there's some pretty cool features on this bike. The frame is a Ghost Riot EM Full Party. It's a 2022 model, 27 and a half inch wheels, and I've got it in a size small because I'm not the biggest person in the world. And although I want this bike for stability, I still like that maneuverability. It gives me confidence. Color gray is quite dull, but it really stands out because I like the, the text Ghost there looks sick. And then with the orange decals, that's sort of what makes this bike pop. When you look around the seat post area and the seat tube, it looks kind of different to how other bikes are. And that's because the dropper is internally built into the frame. It bolts in down here. It's quite thick, but what that does is it offers a much longer reach on the post. And I think, 
can go even more. You've got like an extra bit. So obviously droppers don't normally extend that high. That one's massive and that's all that works or enables it to do that because of it being internally rooted in the frame. The bike comes with Shimano 12 speed. There's a huge range of gears there. XT running gear as well. So that's actually decent. Race face cranks and formula dual piston brakes, which I've actually had on my old bike and they were by far the sharpest brakes that I've ever had. And to make these even more fancy, the chrome looks so sick. It really works nicely with the graphics. There's quite a theme going on here. We've got orange on orange and then chrome on chrome. Time for the mandatory sound check, which is weird to say for a mountain bike because it doesn't have an engine or an exhaust, but it's better than that because we've got a super drive hub, 120 points of engagement. That's the best sound ever. That's so good. One of the things I'm often moaning about on my downhill bike, and if you tune in recently, you, you would have heard me moan about it, is that my rear spring is a bit too soft. Obviously, there's not so much adjustment with the coil shocks in making them firm. And being a dirt jump rider at heart, I do like my bikes generally stiffer than they should be. But this is a different bike, different leverages, all that sort of stuff. So, And it's only a 450 pound spring, which is actually lighter than a downhill bike. But I'm hoping that after tweaking it a bit and riding for what I want this bike for that might be perfect and then up front you've got the Fox 38s which I'm running on all of my bikes except the dirt jumper now and they're sick nice big chassis nice and nice just very stable and it makes you feel super safe when you're riding gnarly things we've known for a while that with the halos you can customize the stickers which is sick it's a feature I really like but you can now do that with the gusset bars. So obviously I've gone for the orange, which is looking sick. And the bike come fitted with a bottle holder, which I didn't really know what it was. And then when we was here, the guys were like, oh, that's a Fidlock, I'll get you a bottle. So I now have a Fidlock bottle, it takes 65 Newton meters of torque. I mean, you'd actually break the bottle before the mount comes off, I think. And it just simply magnets like that. Lovely. Finally, we've upgraded the tires from the standard Maxxis ones that come on it. We've got a hands damp on the rear and then a Magic Mary up front. So that's gonna be digging into the dirt this winter, providing loads of grip. And on this bike, I just, I really wanna plan some upcoming trips to places like Duffy Bike Park or even Bike Park Wales and hit some of the gnarlier, steeper tech trails. That's what I want this bike for. And now I've got the bike and it's looking very clean and fresh. Far too clean, actually. I think, I'm so excited to get out on some trails. So if you're watching this, leave some comments. Let me know some zones, which is good, steep tech and like rampagey sort of zones in the UK because I'd be so keen to get there and check them out and put this bike through its paces. I'm so stoked with this build and I just want to say a big thanks to all my sponsors for making this bike possible. The weather's just turned and we're going into the winter season. I've got the perfect tool for tackling the tough conditions and I think you guys know exactly what's coming with the next video. We're going to be out riding this somewhere so let me know where you want to see us go. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. Leave some comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a